salute to all my generals, all my lines, all my real men. Y'all already know what it is. King Chula won't deck. Gotta bless y'all with some love. Shout out to all of y'all for supporting me. My man got the subs going up. That's official. Got linked up with people that was with me in some of these spots and some of the stories that I'm talking about. I actually got in contact with more than one, more than two, more than three individuals already, which is great. These are people that I lost contact with, you know what I'm saying? And in conversations with these individuals, which now I'm in constant contact with also, they telling me about shit that I forgot about. Like, shit that I did, things that we did together, like, things that happened that we was there. And, 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 I, and I, it's crazy and amazing to me how much shit you know, I was really involved in. It was like a whole life, like all those years, like a lot of the shit I forgot. I'm talking about the shit that I remember. You would think I would remember some of the extreme shit the niggas are telling me about. I'm like, damn, I really did that? I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so yo, shout out, shout out to my twin Heck. That's one of the twins, I mean, my nigga, um, official, one official Canitarios right there, um, official Patrias. Um, that's my twin right there, he from, um, from Y.O. So shout out, you already know what it is, hat. <laughs> my nigga Bochi, you already know my, my little, that was my, my cub, that was my little bro, that was, that was my, Bochi was, that was, that was my little bro, bro, like, I had him everywhere with me, you know what I'm saying? That kid, he was, at a young age, I already seen, he was very knowledgeable. You know me, I was just on some aggressive shit, like, I was just, but I knew he was smart, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't always on some stupid shit though. Like, you know, I'm gang banging, so I gotta, I'm a bang, but I was moving differently. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of our twins, Cass. Shout out to Casper, AKA Bubs, AKA Steven Bloom. Y'all said it's government. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga out there doing the bed. That's the twin though, Blanco. He, he swear he have on um, Puerto Rican, that nigga straight white, white as a motherfucker, blue eyes and all that. But he's a goon, he's a problem, he's respected. We was together, me and him fought. Like, cause he's too much, he's one of them niggas, you know, I was telling you like, I put that work in, but it was like, I moved differently. He's one of the ones that's just like one level, and that's it. So, anyway, hit the subs, y'all. Follow me on Instagram, John J745. That's John J745. Holla at the twin. Um, I'm gonna probably do a live on tonight when I get out of work, as y'all see. You know what I mean? Shout out to all my working niggas. Shout out to all my niggas at Great Nine and Fives. Shout out to all my entrepreneurs, all my small business owners. Shout out to all of y'all taking care of y'all families. Um, a lot of shit that I be talking about is very violent, comes across very naive, but it's all factual. It's a life that I live. You can learn from what I'm saying, because I learned a lot from it. You feel me? Let's get this shit straight. I was doing a lot of shit. A lot, a lot, a lot of shit. I was around a lot of known motherfuckers. A lot of these dudes that be on, was on, everybody was talking about these wild niggas that was cutting a thousand people. Yeah, I was around a lot of these motherfuckers. And at the end of the day, I was able to make the transition and learning from my mistakes to come home and now I end up just, you know what I mean? Working a regular job, got my little shit on the shop, got me a little blog now, you know what I mean? I got, I got the lines and the twins uniting again. Salute, salute all my lines, all my twins, all my generals, all my real men, y'all already know what it is. So yeah, hit the subs, y'all, share this, you know what I mean? Let's get this shit popping. Definitely smash the motherfucking likes, blow up the comments. Ask me anything, tell me what y'all want me to talk, touch on. There's a couple of things I've been asking me to touch on. History on the BBK, is about to be, I'm about to hit y'all with that. Like BBK, for those of y'all that don't know, that's Bad Boy Kings. Let's not get it twisted, Bad Boy Kings was the kings outside of Bloodline. They're all still Bloodline. They got sanctioned by blood, supposedly. I'm gonna, find, I'm, I'm gonna, get, well, I'm gonna get, get into all of this eventually, sometime hopefully this week that basically was the cleanup squad. 
They was the cleanup squad for the Kings and the cleanup squad for all the Bloods. You know what I'm saying? Bad Boy Kings was a real thing. That was a whole separate set. We're gonna get into how they was picked and all of that, and who was hand picking and who was picking them and all that, and the history to all that once I get everything that I need, or as much as I get. And then I'm gonna provide that with y'all to y'all. And it's, it's definitely, it's definitely some real, some real history lessons when it comes to the Kings. Like, and then after that, you have LKG, which wasn't sanctioned. Sanctioned, <laughs> which wasn't sanctioned by blood, but Kings took it upon themselves because they felt like Bad Boy wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? So LKG started in the box, right? Cause I'm old boy, the pound, OBCC. That's where LKG started. Salute to my twin fact, salute the hat tech. Salute to, um, it's, it's, it's a couple of them, but we're gonna get into all of that. So right now though, what I'm gonna get into is the first Latin Bloods that I know of. I have to say that I know of because, see, I came into this shit in 96, and I've been seeing people, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people posting their little videos and all that with their content. And we talking about the same year, right? For example, this nigga Boy George, son. Boy George's son, Puerto Rican, obviously. He's blood. He said he was in the four building, nine eight. See, I was already dead nine six, nine seven, but I was also there nine eight. And I must admit, he does look very, very, very fucking familiar. So, he was talking about how when he was, he didn't get into details, but he just said he had a hard. Yeah. <laughs> he had a rough time, bro. <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, I had a rough, you know, that's what he basically, but you know, you do have a rough time. Everybody does. Unless you are ready automatically on a thousand, which is, there are um, individuals, a handful, that was just always on a thousand. And those are the ones that a lot of times will stay in the box and catch them charges and end up getting lost in the system, to be honest with you. Some of them are fortunate not to, but a lot of them don't. A lot of them ain't coming home. No time soon. So, anyway, he was talking about something brief about how when he was in four brother nine eight you know he had a rough time he had a hard time and how all the spanish bloods you know they 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 was getting it from both ends because yeah you was looked at as a traitor as a traitor if you were spanish latino and you was blood because the bloods you made an excuse that they was getting oppressed by the latinos you even went along with the shit and said, yeah, facts. That I'm talking about that kid. Oh, what's his name? I forget his name. I don't know who he is. I never was born when we did time. Shout out to him. He just came up with more wild time, whatever. I, if he was in the four building with me, obviously, it was like, at that time in that era, I was I was already up. And I was in two upper, across from an old blood house. And I took the house. You know what I'm saying? Me and my, see, a lot of these dudes be fucking lying. My fuckers always told me I had the phone. I had the phone, bitch. <clears throat> y'all niggas was sharing phones. Stop acting like y'all niggas was just taking phones and running phones. Like whoever was a little bit more respected, more just had more a little bit more slot time or more popping slot time. But y'all niggas niggas running the phones like you gotta ask for like niggas, niggas, niggas be lying, man. These niggas be lying. These niggas be capping. These niggas be lying like a motherfucker. Cause I was in wild houses. I did wild bigs, unfortunately. Yeah, motherfuckers was to, like take the phones. I, I'm not saying it wasn't, but like everybody's taking the phone. Like what the fuck? Like I didn't just go into a house. Niggas told me I, I never was in that. I was in one house. I was in one house. A nigga came into that house and he grabbed the phone. He was able to get on the phone. He got on the phone. He 
took the phone off the um he took it off the wire right and when he took the phone he went to the middle of the day room he threw the phone in the middle of the day room he said y'all want to slot I don't give a fuck. Whoever got eight to nine, I want eight to nine. You got eight to nine, something got the game. Threw the phone on the floor, pulled out the hammer. I seen that. Called niggas out. Guess what? He took a blood phone. Guess what? He black. Guess what? He neutral. Neutral. My nigga Dolo. Guess what? Niggas ain't want to smoke. Niggas ain't want the smoke. <laughs> Niggas ain't want the smoke. I don't know why he grabbed that phone out of our phones. He ain't grab our phone. But he grabbed the blood phone. Pete Gabe though. Guess what this nigga name was? Hollywood. Yep. Famous crip nigga, Hollywood. <clears throat> he took that motherfucking blood jack off the phone. Threw the shit in the damn floor. Everybody looking all eyes on him. Gonna go with anybody one nine to eight. Let's get it. A one nine to eight. That's my slot or eight to nine of me. Whoever got eight to nine. Let's get it going for gun, shoot for five, however y'all want to do it. Niggas ain't want to smoke. But now homies is like, yo, who this nigga? Like, yo, who you? Yo, you bang? Pick game. You bang? Seize up, nigga. Crip Hollywood, ah, he start talking his shit. I don't remember what he was. Born 30s, born 60s, I don't remember all that shit. He start talking his shit. I'm like this. I'm in the cut. I'm like, yo, who this nigga? I'm like, yo, I heard the nigga name before. You know what I'm saying? So keep in mind, this is in OBCC. Oh boy. So, son came in there. I don't even remember if he put his property in the cell or not. All I know is that he got in there, the first phone that was hanging. I don't even remember if it was the first phone that was hanging, to be honest. So I ain't gonna start freestyling. I don't know if he waited for that phone purposely. I don't know, but I know that that's the phone that he grabbed. He ain't grab our phone, said. <laughs> I want this slot, cause he grabbed the blood phone. Now, at that time in that house, it was only three kings. Two of them niggas, LKG and me, the nigga Macho, King Trouble, and me. Then everybody else is blood. Nigga, we had three kings in the old blood house, my nigga. Facts. With a king phone. With slot time. For other motherfuckers, it's like neutral and Spanish dudes and shit like that. But like I said, this nigga came in. <clears throat> so, one of the homies that had that slot, they didn't want to smoke, but now they know this nigga crit. Cause he pulled out the hammer, he had the hammer out at first. And then he was like, yo, I even put this shit up. I shoot the five or any one of y'all niggas back to back. Who won it? Who first? Who first? <laughs> Who first? Y'all just went from talking about. Cause this shit just went left right now. So as I was about to talk about something else, now I'm talking about this nigga Hollywood. So I'm gonna I'm I'm continue it and just say this. I'm gonna 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 sum it up for y'all, and then I'm gonna talk on it more. In a nutshell, Hollywood beat the brakes out of three homies that day, and I saw it with my own eyes. Three of them knocked all three of them out. The last one was like more of a daze. He ain't go sleeping. The first two, sleep. The third one, on his ass like this. 
the rest of the homies, most small. Shout out to the crib Hollywood, your Hollywood, where you at, twin? You remember that day, my nigga? I'll hit your twin, what's good? Yeah, I was dead, my nigga. I was dead. Facts. He knocked out three of them, or well, two of them, and days one of them, all back to back to back, my nigga. This nigga hands, I had to, I had to, I got to salute the, the nigga, the twin, the twin, and he was lying. And he wasn't lying. <laughs> After them three, nigga, it was a whole house of bloods, bro. After them three, no smoke. I'm about to go get on the phone. Go, go. He goes and gets on the phone. But after, like, a lot of the commotion, police start getting involved. Police fucking with these blood niggas. So it's a whole other story. Like, I'm, I'm getting into it. But back to these um, Spanish niggas that turn blood. 